Tips and Tricks to Horse Foaling 101. This mare was in foal for 11 months before this moment. Before all of this, I had to wash her undercarriage and that was with mild soap and I had to rinse it all thoroughly so that it was nice and clean. Also, I cleaned a couple of beautiful stalls for her, laid down straw, and I disinfected with vinegar. It was half vinegar, half water solution so that it was not bleach so that it was nice and gentle for the baby. Every mare is going to be different when it comes to foaling time. My horses tend to come right to me, follow me around like a puppy all day, but extra. Also, they don't stop eating. As you can see in this video, she was still eating the grass, where some mares stop eating about 24 hours before foaling. She was acting restless and agitated, but in a good way. Make sure to let your veterinarian know at least two weeks, the week of, and a couple days before that your mare is going to have a foal. Make sure to have at least two to three vets on standby just in case anything happens. If your mare is taking more than 30 minutes to deliver a foal, call your vet immediately. And also, if for some reason the first thing you see when they're starting to give birth is a red bag, that is definitely not okay. Have a bag that is clean, ready, and inside of it, make sure you put a couple of towels as when the foal gets born, it will be cold and it needs to get dried off. Also, have a couple of exam gloves that are latex gloves so that for the foaling process and then also after for handling the placenta and some scissors so that if only in an emergency the placenta is not broken or wrapped around or entangled around the foal and it must be a removed ASAP. But that would be the only reason for that. Make sure to have on standby somebody's number that has backup colostrum just in case your baby does not latch to their, its mom's teats. That foal must have colostrum, ASAP. It's important to give your mare space. Let nature take its course. This is a miracle happening, so make sure you're not too close and if you do get super close, make sure it's either a veterinarian or you completely know your mare inside and out. Iodine is used to treat the foal's umbilical cord once it's broken. Make sure it's naturally broken and don't cut that. Like I said, the only way you would ever cut that is if it's entangled or, or wrapped around the foal. Also, you want to make sure the foal's nostrils are clear so that it can breathe. You see me looking at it and seeing the situation over. This needed to be removed from the foal's face. A normal foal will stand within an hour. Even though their legs are very wobbly and it takes them quite a few attempts to get up, as you'll see in this video. And they'll normally nurse. They're born with that nursing instinct and they will nurse within about two hours and do absolutely everything to make sure that that foal nurses. And they will pass their first stool within about six hours. You can see in this video, I am clearing away her mouth and her ears. As you can see, I'm not too worried about videoing that. I just need to get it cleared. The mare does normally stand within 30 minutes after foaling. You'll watch in this video how Eden, my mare, is very tired 
And the older a mare gets, the more tired they'll be. So Eden's young. She's about eight years old. So that's totally different compared to an older mare. As far as the recovery. Check her looking at her baby for the first time. It's amazing how they just know to be gentle and not get up and stand on the little baby's hooves. Placenta is normally passed within about three hours. Sometimes it does take a bit longer. With some of my mares, it has taken that five to six hours. And you, no matter what, you do not want to pull it out. Absolutely not. It's a natural process. Let gravity take its course. Uh, it's okay if it gets stepped on, but don't pull it out. Uh, uh, you want to make sure that because it can rip and remain in the mirror causing serious harm and infection. So just slowly let it come out and you actually do want to hold on to that, place it out so that you're able to look at everything. With the placenta, you want to make sure that it has the horns. Basically, you pull it out, put it on the grass so that you're able to check and make sure that there's no rips in it and that it's got all the horns in place. So as far as me talking about the horns, it's the uterine horns. You want to basically when you're putting that on the floor, make sure it looks like the whole entire foal. And if for some reason you suspect that the mare has retained part of the placenta, call your veterinarian immediately. This process after the foal is born is called imprinting period. It's a type of desensitization where it's getting that foal used to a human and its mother. This is a filly. A filly is a female baby horse. So this isn't a colt. A colt is a male baby horse. During this time period where you're imprinting, you want to just be super patient, pet your baby horse all over, scratch them, scratch their tummy, Put your fingers inside their ears, and I mean very softly, inside their ears, around their ears, all around their eyes, all around their nose, and also wear gloves, but put your fingers in their mouth because say, for instance, something like putting your fingers in their mouth is going to get them ready down the road for the equine dentist or for worming them. Plus, you want to make sure to go down their legs pick up their hooves basically every single time and go around their tail, you know, go around all their tummy where it's sensitive to a horse because down the road that will help you with training, with girthing, with putting different, you know, you know, even like see this blanket, putting that on them, getting them used to something on them. Say in the future it'd be tarps, that type of desensitization. Also, I recommend putting on a halter, taking it off, putting on a lead rope, taking it off, that kind of stuff. I would not leave either of those on and on the mom if they're in a stall or a pen because all it takes is one little hoof to get stuck in that, plus the danger of getting stuck on the fences. It That's not safe. So just put them on as training, take them off, and be safe with it. I hoped you enjoyed this video.